Today, the parole board voted to release Mayan Burrell and commute his life sentence to 20 years. Burrell had been serving a 45 years to life sentence for the murder of an 11 year old girl. Our Reg Chapman is live outside of the Stillwater prison. Reg? Well, Frank, we're told by the Department of Corrections that in about 20 minutes, Myron Burrell, as well as the warden of the Stillwater Prison, will walk right out of this building. Burrell, a free man since eight, 18 years behind bars. Now, right now, if you look, there are members of the activist community here at Stillwater Prison, as well as members of Myron Burrell's family. Through those doors you're looking at, I spoke with Myron Burrell's dad just a little bit ago. He says he cannot wait to see his son on the outside of prison bars. Now, since Taisha Edwards' murder in 2002, Myron Burrell has always maintained his innocence. During the pardon board, many people in the community actually voiced their support of Myron Burrell, and they are showing up here in numbers. We're seeing, seeing carloads and carloads of people from the community who have been very vocal about releasing this young man from incarceration are now showing up be very happy with signs, giving each other high fives, saying that their hard work has now become reality. So right now they are hoping that Mayan Burrell will be released from Stillwater Prison and hopefully walk across the street to the conference center. Some media is already inside set up and we're hoping that Mr. Burrell will have a statement or speak to us a little bit about what happened today at the pardon board as well as what he's hoping for the future now that he's been released after 18 years behind bars. Once again, I spoke to Mayan Burrell's father just moments ago. He told me he is waiting waiting, waiting, waiting to see his son on the outside of this prison. He said it's been a long time coming. We'll bring you the latest once we hear from Mr. Burrell. Once he's released from prison, we're told, minutes away from Mayan Burrell, as well as the warden of Stillwater Prison walking right out these doors. Mayan Burrell going on supervised release after 18 years behind bars. Frank? All right, Reg, uh, thank you. Uh, during the parole hearing today, Burrell expressed his regrets to the family of Taisha Edwards. He was tried as an adult for her murder. The 11-year-old girl was killed by a stray bullet while she was doing homework inside her Minneapolis home. Burrell was 16 at the time and has always maintained his innocence. At the hearing, Burrell and his supporters spoke first. And then Governor Tim Walz made a proposal to lessen Burrell's sentence to 20 years and to set him free on supervised release immediately. Aye, I vote yes. Aye, Governor Walz vote in favor of granting this request. Mr. Burrell, you've been granted a commutation to your sentence of 20 years. The Commissioner of Corrections will work with you and your family immediately. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Esme Murphy has been following this case from the very beginning. She joins us now from the newsroom with more. Hi there, Esme. Hi, Amelia. As you saw there, there were just two pardon board members who made the decision, Governor Tim Walz and Attorney General Keith Ellison. A third member, Chief Justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court, Lori Gilday, recused herself because she'd been involved in the case years ago. It was a case that horrified the Twin Cities. 11-year-old Taisha Edwards killed by a stray bullet inside her own home as she did homework. From the start, 16-year-old Mayon Burrell insisted he was not involved. Taisha Edwards' mother and then Hennepin County Attorney Amy Klobuchar spoke out together after Burrell was convicted in 2003. He won't be able to hurt anybody else's children. But this is what needs to happen when there is this kind of gun violence, this kind of gang violence. But that verdict was thrown out. Burrell was tried and convicted again in 2008 when the county attorney was Mike Freeman. Burrell has now served 18 years of a 45-year-to-life sentence he received in the case. Then earlier this year, in the midst of Senator Amy Klobuchar's presidential run, an investigation by the Associated Press and American Public Media raised questions about the police investigation and said another man in prison for another crime is claiming he was the shooter, not Burrell. Protests followed Klobuchar on the campaign trail, even shutting down one of her local rallies. Last week, a group of independent experts published a report saying Burrell should be freed immediately. The report does not make a conclusion on his guilt or innocence, but says he should not be in prison anymore. No one is being deterred from crime. It's not necessary to incapacitate him any longer. He's been punished enough. 
Now, that report, as well as the governor and the attorney general today, referred to research and a Supreme Court case from a few years ago that says teenagers' minds are not fully developed until they are in their 20s. Now, Jimmy Edwards, the father of Taisha Edwards, does not support the shortened sentence. He did not speak at the hearing. Now, Senator Klobuchar was quoted in the hearing as saying she did support a review of Burrell's lengthy sentence. And actually, Senator Klobuchar just released a statement saying, quote, this was the right decision. And I thank the Pardon Board for their work. All right, Esme, thank you.